Healing is so not about getting over stuff, and it's so much about getting through stuff. And I think we have this mental block in thinking, I need to get over this rather than get through it. And when you try and get over something, you don't necessarily process the pain. You don't necessarily give yourself the time and the energy and the care to express how you felt and allow yourself a outlet to really let go. Yeah, and that's coming from the point of re realizing that regret is painful, change is painful, but change is less painful than regret. And so when you realize that actually the only two options I have now are regret or change, and they both hurt, but change hurts less. And when we recognize that, then we choose to change, we choose to move forward, we choose to let go of that regret, because we realize that regret's not serving us. When you have a pair of dirty trainers or trainers that are ripped up, torn apart, destroyed, you know they no longer serve you, you don't hold on to them, you, you get rid of them, right? And yeah, there may be a pair of sneakers that you have a bit of nostalgia with, so they're still sitting around, but you know you never wear them because they're of no use to you. But with our emotions, we hold on to them even when they're not useful to us anymore. And just like an item of clothing, just like, an, just like a pair of sneakers, just like anything in our life that once it's completely used or finished or run out of steam, that's a moment where it needs to get let go. That's what regrets are like. And so when we can just let them go and realize that change is our only choice, that is a mental shift. It, it is a paradigm choice of you like really pushing away. And I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm saying that it has to be consciously reminded. It's like repetition, it's just repetition. It's reminding ourselves that, wait, regret does not serve me. Like, I can't wear that t-shirt of regret anymore because it doesn't fit. It doesn't work, it's not serving me anymore.